All right, guys, we're back. I ran to the feed store to get the softener salt. If you said, how did that go? It was awful. Oh, I wonder I tried to put it off. It was absolutely awful. Uh, anyway, I'm back now. That's all that matters. I'm going to buy four bags at once, according to the bags. I'll only have to go to there three times a year to get it, or put it every four months, or I don't know. Whatever the bag said, that's what I'm going to buy. So this dog already has the default of this platform. for You, you've got to realize, once the behavior's there, yeah, the level of reinforcement is going to determine the permanence of it. So, I am honestly myself amazed the way this platform works as far as them defaulting to going on it and I mean, just honestly guys you're helping yourself out you're giving this dog you're going to be able to get your owners in there and you're going to tell and what do we do we sit down this one does not have a default down though i have to install it And the key to it is the dog believing, and there's two ways you can do it. You can have the dog beside you, or you can have the dog on the ground. Yay! The key is the dog believing doing something, and that's where people go wrong. If you try to make it down and stay, now, yay! The dog is thinking doing nothing equals something. So I'll just do nothing. Whereas if doing something equals something, I can try to get her up here. I got her doing it a little bit out there, but she's not, she's saying to her, so I don't know, I haven't seen this movie. Oh, I haven't seen this movie. But they've got to believe doing some, some action on their part, not in action on their part. Because if you said, what does that equal? It does equal a dog starting to shut down. Now it doesn't do anything. She's trying to get my own sock. Yay. Oh, yay. I'm not even paying attention. It's defaulting to a down over there. I'm too busy thinking about my horrible experience at the feed store and how, uh, how, what I can do to avoid that ever happening again. <laughs> what I can do to delay that ever happening. <laughs> do they deliver? <laughs> can I get this stuff delivered? If I had not done, if I had not acted quickly on that, I would have shot myself in the foot. If you said you thought it thought it was just coincidental, it doesn't matter. It's still you're putting stuff in the bag every time you reinforce what you want. You're making withdrawals on your relationship as the handler every time you correct something. Yay. Every time you correct something you don't want, it's already bending down. It's practically going on the ground now. If you said what's holding it back, that one leg. Yay. Oh, she almost did it. So now your job is to wait and see if it thinks to itself some kind of action oh, i'm telling you it was a, just a horrible experience <laughs> and she, she said she said well what about hitting your sock yeah. Oh, yeah. so i'm just rewarding the sit i'm not saying sit but i am and i'm not luring the dog because i'm just putting the, the head going down just incidental I think you should look sleepy when you do it, too. Yay. So what I did was I hurried up and made this into more than one treat so I could keep the gravy train flowing. As long as she's there eating the food, she's not thinking of getting up. So the behavior, its body is saying this behavior is successful. I that's what I want you to understand. Its body is telling it that uh, m more so than its mind. Yay. And you're kind of looking at, yay. <laughs> you said, what are you looking at? The back end is down. And you can see the body's already bending. And I can add precursors. You know, there's, there's gonna, yay. There's going to be times you want to let the dog know, you know, uh, I'm going to be on the phone for 20 minutes. And if you said, well, it would be napping anyway if you weren't controlling it. Yeah, it would. That's the whole thing. They're going to be laying down. 
If the dog always chooses, and she's like Luke. Luke always tries to lay under the bar stool when I'm sitting at the bar. I'm sure if Connie's there, he does that to her too. If he said, well, what's the problem? He's a hundred and something pounds and you don't realize he's under there. <laughs> That's the problem. So the dog's internal dialogue has to be some action on my part's going to lead to success. Not inaction on my part leads to no corrections. There's a big difference. I mean, if you can bend them, you're helping yourself. I'm going to do that a few times and then see what they can come up with. Be ready, though. I'm telling you, if she comes up with it... And she comes up with it. And you said, how can you help it? You can try looking at the ground and looking sleepy. I almost can bend her into it. Don't lure him though, don't lure him. Cause she said, why could you not almost bend her? I couldn't do it cause she was fighting herself. Spray. These flies are awful. They're very attracted to this meat. Oh, yeah. You've got to, and I've learned that, you've got to get the sit. If you said, I thought you'd, well, I'm not saying sit. I'm really only saying that action's going to lead to success. So don't say the word sit. If you said, well, I say sit and shake, and then I make him do it and do it. <laughs> She's trying to get the top. Okay. So anyway, I'll, I'll keep, I'm going to keep working on that. But that's, you know, that's one section. That's my don't move section. Hi, Charles. Hi, Chris. Thank you for your likes, Chris. Oh, oops. Uh, yeah, this dog would be easy to teach to pick up the keys. But that's the default, Chelsea. I mean, that's the default. That does not look like the default of a dog in a place. I think you've got to practice going over there. Here's the tip. We don't need to discuss. If you have clients, long-term clients, that give you tips, I'll tell you, you don't discuss the tip. You take the tip. It's an unspoken thing between you and that person. You don't sit there and discuss, you know. Yeah, it's a wink and nod thing. Wink and nod. Oh, the squirrel factory. Yep, they're getting ready for winter. Okay, so what I've done, I was able to kind of jump ahead. And you've got to be careful. And don't get too cocky and jump ahead too far. But I was able to jump ahead because this was the dog that would pick stuff up and then run the other way. So I was able to get her to actually change that internal dialogue of I've got to safeguard this thing and keep it away from them too. I think I can actually turn this thing in for prizes. So what I did, and I think I could probably add a little bit. She's such an eager little beaver. I can add a little distance in this direction. There's my cone. And if you said, what should you do in the beginning? And I do think this part's important, Mike. I think in the beginning you should put them in front of the cone. And if you said, why? Because a lot of them out of sight, out of mind, they just aren't going to see it if it's behind there. You precious. Oh, I hope your mommy and daddy are so proud of you. All right, my job is just to look. So now, but now, and you saw as soon as I guard the ones, like, oh, they'll keep turning the same ones in if you're not careful. Yay. Yay. So there is a process. If you said she's going through a thought process, yeah. She's never done this before. Today is the first day with this exercise. So 
that's really, really good from, you know, snatching it. Because I, the platform is going to help you. The platform is going to help you because it's changing everything. It's not a handler standing there possibly saying, give me. It's, it's definitely not a handler moving towards them. And, hi, Sabari. I'm going to get the Great Danes. I'm going to get the big uh, blue Great Dane out in a minute. I don't know if you saw, but I can actually make it gallop beside me. Sure, it's just for a few steps, Sabari, but, you know, you just don't see that with the Great Dane. Um, and you'd have to get some... I want you to get... I know you've got that little training area with the sand where you let them run and stuff. I'll tell you what would be good to put a great big platform right in the middle of that thing. Right in the... Dead in the middle. They could still run around it. But what you would do would be go out there and they'd be standing on there striking some really pretty poses. And all you'd have to do would be run over there and give them the treat. And you could teach them to show stack on a platform real fast. You could even teach them to move the feet without ever touching them. If you said you couldn't teach them to move the feet a tiny bit, oh, yes, you could. You know, and obviously it's going to take some work, but if you said what would that be better than manipulating them with your hands because the second you do that, there goes your tail. So I can do my platform a little bit. I've got my stronger pager on, but I am on zero. I am on zero. Gracie. So you're just producing expectation and th that the pager's going to happen when the handler's going away. If you're limited to inside, that's how you can do it. And if you said, what do you do? I'm just bumping it. I'm just... And I don't know how all of them are, honestly, because this is really the only one I use. But there is a resistance point on there, and there is a slightly audible click. I don't, I I don't want to do it right in front of the camera because I'm, I'm not in a good position to page it right here. But there is a slightly audible click when you push that down. All right, watch. It's getting after that. Is she, is she see what she doing? She's seeing how much she can get these. Hey, Casey. So what you guys have to remember, I'm only driving the dog to the handler. No, nothing happens by the handler that's a correction. You know, maybe once in a great while if one was really being obnoxious. But the correction zone is way out there. And it's driving them back to me. Friendliest person. Billy Joe Armstrong. That's who. If they said, who are you? Billy Joe Armstrong, that's who. That's all right, she's got her back to me. And that's when I'm gonna do my, yeah, yeah. Pretty soon they're not gonna let you. Gracie! You know, when this, this Glasgow dog trainer in his three-part series on e-collars, this guy doesn't know anything. If he really wants to educate people about e-collars, I'm an e-collar expert by any measure. <laughs> Don't make me go get Mark Patton to tell you. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So if you really wanted to educate people about this collar, and right there on your page is an e-collar expert, maybe you should present their work and then you could rip it apart. You could juxtapose it with your work. I even said your own dog tore away from you. Instead of calling it, you ran after it and grabbed the leash like a six-year-old. It was just disheartening. This is professional. Or somebody pays for them. Anyway. <laughs> it was really awful. All right, guys, I'm going to try to squeeze in a couple quick episodes, and then Holly's coming over to work with Tess. So that's going to be a good episode for you guys to see. And if you said why. Holly walked this dog... Uh, twice a day, and the and if you said, well, how often did the walks go? Well, never. So twice a day and 14 weeks of classes ingrained the bad behavior with that particular handler. So if you said, what can you do to change that? Well, I've added a platform and a pager. That's going to help. Yay. So I've got a dog that's already possibly going to lay down on its own. So if I can get it to repeat that behavior. 
And if you said she didn't really know why you were saying that, she may not have. Knock it off. You're just, you're, you're bending the body then too, though. I mean, yeah, she's going to be tight. They'll give you anything. If you said, what did you like? I liked everything about that. I liked the mechanics of it. And if you said, why? There was no sit in there. It was a mechanically just a flop down. And I, d I remember now, I did get, I did reward that yesterday. She did it after she <laughs> dug. So that's my guarding. She's not getting that. You want prizes, start collapsing. Yay. <laughs> and if you said, well, it didn't go all the way down, it doesn't matter. It took action. It's internal dialogue must be my action resulted. <laughs> my action resulted in success. And quick. I can try adding some precursors. You need to just be ready, though, because if you said, well, could it just, it could just randomly occur. You can control where the dog's at, though. Just, you know, if you teach him to look where you look, she's going to come around here because she knows I'm not looking at her. find something to bring. Oh, she found a tree. You're just trying to throw in any precursors. Anything to make it say, I've seen this before. You've got to say, you know, your body language is, you know, you've got precursors, which is the preview for, I've seen this movie before. And I was, I was going to put the dog up, but when it did that, you need to be ready to see if you can get it to happen again. Oh, she's a good little dog. She's going to be perfect for kids. So it's got to think to itself, there is something better than this. Not just sit, good dog. There's something better than that. What was it? I'm just going to warn you right now, don't say sit. Just her own, her own head drop down, invo uh, yeah, it was an involuntary head drop. If you said point and say don't, don't, don't say anything. They don't even have a chance to think. She's trying to think, what does this thing want? What does it like? What does it want? Oh, she's going to be all about the retrieving now, Michael. Yeah, she's going to be all about the retrieving. All right, I can wait and see if she just spontaneously does it again. And she's very, very... If you said, hi, Linnea, this dog is the type... If if you left it and just went, it, it would probably sit on the platform. It's very, you know, you've probably got them like that too. They're always kind of, if, if you said, well, if it was inside, it would sit in a chair. Yeah, no, it would sit in a chair type, you know, if you said, because it's small, it would sit in a chair. Yeah, probably would. Yay. You know, if this dog is not saying to itself, some kind of action I'm, on my part is going to lead to success, if the opposite of that is some kind of action on my part is going to lead to a correction, you know, they're just not going to like you. They're not going to like you. If you said mine like me, I have a great bond. Show me the videos. Why are these dogs running off from these people if they like them so much? 
Give me a minute, I've got more time for one more episode before Holly gets here. And I know Holly's so excited. She's probably watching right now. She's probably watching on the way over. And so, Holly, you've got to just be very, you're just going to get in the chair and you're just not going to have any reaction to the dog. Because if you said, why does it jump and stuff, well, it's clearly had a great deal of success in its life with that. <laughs> you know, from the behavior's viewpoint, that, that's my conclusion. I've concluded the problem is you. Holly's like, no. All right, guys, hang on. I'll be right back.